a brand new video. My name is Bethany and uh, this is peak week of my wellness prep series, my first competition. And this is my lovely husband, Andrew. Peace. <laughs> my name is Bethany Moore and this is, I thought you were gonna say my name, you said peak week. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, this is peak week. <laughs> but this is also my sad kick hustle on this. We are on our way to a Halsey concert. And let me tell you, this has been a bucket list of mine. I mean, before we were even dating and we're married now, so that should tell you something. So we have brought our lunch meal. Um, this is my rice, 165 grams of rice, four ounces of chicken, 2.4 ounces of avocado, some salsa and seasoning. So this, I don't know, 30 grams of protein. No, it's like almost 40 grams of protein. Will hold me over for a while because concerts are a long time. And we get to bring in an unsealed bottle of water, bottle of water, and what did I say? Oh. A sealed bottle of water, okay, a snack and a Ziploc bag. So I have protein powder stuffed in a Ziploc bag. Basically, I'm gonna have this protein that I normally would have for breakfast, but I saved it till now because it's like easy to bring in because I can't just bring in my tilapia and asparagus in a Ziploc bag and whip it out in the middle of a Halsey concert. I would, but not if we can prevent it with something easy like this. So I'm gonna be walking in with a Ziploc bag of white powder. And I'm just gonna be like, listen, dude, just smell it. Taste it if you want to. It's vanilla ice cream flavor. Let me in. Um, competing next you. week. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's it's good. Like I promise. Yeah, it's like so it's smooth. So we're hoping for the best, and we'll have some clips and then a surprise after. Yeah. See you on stage. Welcome to IHOP. <laughs> IHOP. Okay, <laughs> I'm like perfectly sober. Um, so we are at IHOP because this is a surprise. Because my coach said carb up. We are getting a full stack, not a half stack, a full stack with real syrup. Because we're getting all the carbs. It is the next day. It's like midnight. It's tomorrow. But it's open 24-7. And oh my god, that's cute. Little oh, meow. Anyway, let's go get a full stack. I'll see y'all in the morning for leg day.
Okay, I'm going to take you through a voiceover throughout this whole workout and all the updates. So I'm doing 25 minutes of cardio. Um, Coach reduced it to 25 minutes and then um, for Sunday and Monday and then on Tuesday, which is today, um, going down to 20 minutes and then tomorrow, Wednesday will be 15 minutes and then no cardio Friday the day before the show and then Saturday, obviously the day of the show. And today's also my last workout of the week. Um, so right here I'm doing legs and this was Sunday. So a good six days out is the last time I'm going to hit legs really just to like prevent inflammation. Um, cause obviously when you work out, it's a good type of inflammation that occurs in your muscle cells. And that's what like the soreness is, is like all that like inflamed cells, but we want to prevent that water retention, almost like swollen look is, I guess you could like how you could think about it for the muscle belly itself. So leaning out, tightening up is the goal for peak week. That's not the goal to continually lose actual body fat. Like ideally you might lose body fat because yeah, I'm still in a deficit and I'm like eating the same kind of calories, but like the cardio is going down to make sure my body is not trying to recover from training, even cardio. So this really allows me to make sure I look my best on show day, on stage. So this leg workout is not high intensity at all. So I'm doing higher rep, lower weight. Um, and then, yeah, not going close to failure at all. It's all just getting a pump. And this workout is the morning or the day after the pancakes. So I was feeling it literally my warm up sets of the like hamstring curl I just did. And then these like extensions, I felt the best pump ever. And I'm not on, you know, I didn't take any pre-workout, no stem free, like literally nothing, just like rolling in here and doing like 20 reps. Normally I would have to like with all the pre-workout stem free, like pump, it takes me like a few sets to like get a really good pump and even still like it didn't feel as good as today so carbs are definitely working in my favor um so my legs are like they just felt so much more filled out I'm like oh my god my muscles back (laughs) it was great okay so talking about refeeds so the pancakes and real syrup so again we want like actual sugary foods not just foods that are like artificial sweeteners um, or just high calorie in general. We want that higher carb. Like, yes, there was a decent amount of fat, little protein in there, but mainly carb meal, right? And we want to do this because a few reasons. So we have this hormone called leptin, and this is a hormone that signals to our brain saying that we are full, This hormone decreases drastically whenever you are dieting. So, yes, I know, we love that. Literally a signal to our brain saying like, hey, you're full, is decreased. So there's less signal saying that we're full as we're dieting. And that's just based on being in a caloric deficit and reduced adipose tissue, fat tissue. Let's say the leptin level was at a level of like 14 before dieting within the first week of dieting your leptin levels are already going to go to like a seven like half that and it's going to stay relatively low like five six seven for example following weeks you're dieting as long as like you're staying in that deficit if you have a refeed these levels will go up to let's say like a 10 and 
this is just dependent on the increase in carbs. Leptin doesn't really respond to the like increase of like protein and fats. It's really just carbs. And that's going to help signal to our body. And also it increases um, just as we're increasing our fat cells themselves because it's directly correlated to like how much fat tissue we have and that signaling as well. So whenever you're getting more lean, less leptin levels, and like I said, in a deficit as well. So whenever we are doing a refeed, it is helping these like hormones and it's going to help with our metabolism most importantly because leptin is also like a precursor to your thyroid hormone and thyroid hormones like a huge part in your metabolism right so decreased leptin through dieting through decreased body fat is going to decrease that t3 t4 and decreases your metabolism and that's why your metabolism decreases through dieting and what a refeed can do is kind of boost that metabolism a little bit and just kind of like if you view this as just kind of talking to your body because the message that you've been sending your body through a deficit wait pause this is when I broke a nail at the gym and I was low-key proud okay anyway (laughs) message you've been sending your body with the deficit and all of this extra cardio and training is it's, you know my body's definitely used to training but it's saying like I'm not getting enough food I'm in even more of a demand every single day I'm tired like I'm trying to keep body fat as much as I can resist going through and even lower body fat percentage because it's unhealthy I definitely cannot have a baby right now all from a biological standpoint so whenever you give your body this refeed it's saying hey we do have food readily available and this will like decrease cortisol which is also huge for water retention not losing muscle and trying to lose that additional fat that we need to tighten up, like all that kind of stuff. So in peak week itself, we want to better these hormones a little bit for the water retention, for tightening up this last little bit. But all of that hard work was necessary and it's just inevitable that you have to put your body in that stressful state because I mean this is a competition and this is like it's just what bodybuilding is like you do have to go these to these measures but safely and definitely strategically that's why we're not like we held on to food for so long we didn't de we didn't increase cardio a ton until last minute so it's really playing with these variables to lot to not let my body go into too much of like a stressful state to lose muscle not majority fat, all that good stuff. And the crazy thing is the morning after the pancakes, I weighed in at 137.0. That is an actual new weigh-in. Like I was like 137.6, I think a week before, I don't know, a few days before. And then I was at 138 and literally dropped to 137. And this is just me peeing and then weighing in. I didn't even poop in the morning or the night before. And no, that's not TMI. But that just goes to show how this works. Because if you have a refeed and you still lose weight, then you're... LOL, me almost running over Sanduni's foot. I'm such a good workout buddy. Um, But yeah, if you increase your food and you still have a lower weigh-in then that just means that you were for sure in a deficit. So thank God my body responded well. (laughs) 
But for real, shout out to Sanduni. She is so encouraging. Literally chants like number one, first place, first place, like in my sets. And I'm just like, heck yes. Just so much encouragement. And I just love and appreciate her so much because there are days where I'm like tired. Again, just going back to that environment and mental state you have to put in. But I can't do it all on my own for sure. Like there have been so many people that's helped me throughout prep and just very grateful. Also yelling pancakes and use those pancakes. <sighs> For those pancakes. So yeah, pancakes six days before really filling up our glycogen stores and our muscles, but not causing like any crazy bloat right before the show. But it's still a way to fill out your muscles and get those carbs in there. Also a huge misconception with water and sodium. I did increase water the day of the high carb, but other than that, you're we're not going to decrease or increase water and sodium because that's what my body's used to. So fluctuating that will then throw it off and cause water retention, and we don't want that. Okay, enough science. You can see for yourself, muscles popping more. And another peak week thing, I'm preparing my skin for my tan. I'm going to do like a using pro tan. And I'm exfoliating every day, trying to prepare for that. So it'll be the best. Okay, this is the next day, cardio. And then I'm going to take you to the store. Good old Walmart in the neighborhood. You already know I got avocados. I probably got like 10 of them. Spring mix for at night still. But I'm not going to do Greek yogurt at night because... I didn't want to cause any more bloating, even though it doesn't bloat me a lot. It's just kind of like, you know, yogurt. Um, so still with the sausage, all that kind of good stuff. I have asparagus, blackberries, apples. The actual struggle of picking out bread. First of all, never choose white, okay? Whole wheat. And then you just gotta look for high fiber. So it's gonna keep you more full and the more protein one. One gram of fat, 19 carbs and five protein for two slices, bigger volume. And the size is relatively big too. Like it's almost as equal as like, pretty much as equal as normal size bread. So you're not getting this like tiny piece of bread that's your like, of course, that's gonna be lower. You're not getting a tiny piece of bread that's of course gonna be lower calorie, so. You gotta get the high volume, higher volume, lowest calorie, highest fiber option. This is for Andrew, but best flavor power crunch, s'mores. We literally serve power crunch at our wedding. Because we love it so much. I can't have them right now, but honestly, post-show, I want a freaking Power Crunch bar. It's so good. Literally tastes like dessert. Oh, I actually do. I'm going to get Rice Krispies for Heinz Stadium. And we're getting the lightly salted rice cakes, not the flavored ones, because the flavored one's gonna have like some artificial sweetener, and we want those like quick, clean carbs. So I got like the white rice, rice cakes. I'm gonna do honey. Those are gonna be like the main sources of quick, clean carbs behind stage, morning of, night before. All that fun stuff. Extra one trip, people. One trip. Okay. This is 
why we lift. Honestly, it's not as heavy as it looks. So don't get carried away. So I'm already, already meal prepped a little bit, but we're gonna throw in some tilapia and potatoes. And then that'll be meal prep done for the week. And I have weird stuff I'm taking backstage with me. And I'll just show you the day before my heart just dropped. <laughs> I'll just show you show day. That's out of excitement. I promise. All right, real quick before I go, this new flavor came in the mail. It is Reese's flavor, chocolate peanut butter. Macros are as follows. One gram of fat, 24 protons, and carbs, carbs, carbs. Three grams of carbs. Um, for some Reese's flavor in your life and your protein needs and your cravings needs. Recently, I've been, because I still have protein powder part, part of my meal plan, put it in my cream of rice, you put it in your oatmeal, and it feels like you're having like an actual dessert when you mix it with things like that. Obviously, you can do just like water, smoothie, whatever you want to or do my ice cream trick and do ice and water and mix it with protein powder and it's the best thing. And whey protein is also like quality protein, complete proteins. If you don't know what I mean by complete protein, just comment below and I'll explain. Uh, but if you know, you know. So you can get, you can save on the Legion supplements um, if you use my code Bethany and it goes so far in supporting me like you have no idea so i just greatly appreciate it so yeah it's monday we're five days out i'll be filming more stuff this week but i'm gonna end the video here so i hope you enjoyed it please give the video a thumbs up subscribe turn that notification bell on so you can see show day things go get some protein eat it all Lift heavy and be fit. See y'all in the next one.